today because my boyfriend's coming from Toronto and I haven't seen him in so long and I'm so excited. So if I'm like super giggly and like bubbly in this video, I'm sorry if it gets annoying. I just can't help it. I'm just in such a good mood because my boo is coming. <laughs> I've never called him my boo in my life, so I don't know where that came from. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. He's probably gonna watch this. Stop watching my videos. It's embarrassing. Thank y'all. <sighs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my first ever Friday Reads. I'm totally giving credit to Sam over at Novels and Nonsense. I'll leave her link down below, but I see her do this all the time, and I was like, you know what? I want to do this. So, here I am, and I'm doing it. So, without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first thing that I was planning on reading this weekend, I actually just finished So. Well, it is this book right here, this one right here, because I have fancy editing system so I can put it in. <laughs> it's called The Dragon's Blade, The Reborn King, and it is by Michael R. Miller, and I was sent an e-version of this book by the author, and I'm gonna have a full review of it up on my channel soon once I film it. Which I'm actually gonna film next, so you know, you'll see this outfit again in a future video. I gave it a 3.5 stars out of 5 on Goodreads. I did really enjoy it, it just took me a while to get into, and it's an epic fantasy, which I don't read epic fantasies. And he contacted me and I was like, okay, well, never really read an epic fantasy that I like, but I've seen it on other booktubers' channels. And they were saying that it was a genre that they also didn't read that often, but they said it was very good epic fantasy, so I thought I would give it a try, because why not? You know, step out of my comfort zone a little bit. So I did, and I actually really enjoyed it. So if you guys want to hear my full thoughts, I will leave a card, that side, a card, for my review once I have it up. Which will be sometime next week. I don't know when, because, you know, your girl never does the things she says she's going to do on time. But the next book is Shut Out by Cody Keplinger. See, I'm about a hundred pages into this book, okay? hundred pages in. And I was really excited when I found this book at the thrift store because Cody Keplinger wrote The Duff, and if you've been on my channel for a while, you know The Duff is like my all-time guilty pleasure read. I love it so much. I'm about a hundred pages into this. I hate it. I cannot stand it. It's basically about this high school rivalry against the soccer boy players and the football boy players and their girlfriends have decided that they are going to go on a sex strike to stop this rivalry because players are getting hurt and they're not getting enough attention from their boyfriends because of this rivalry. It's such a stupid premise. I thought, you know, like, after the epic fantasy I was like, you know, I need something fluffy and light and trust me, it is fluffy and it's a very easy fast read. But all the characters are getting on my nerves, and I just can't stand it. But I'm one of those people who can't DNF a book, even if I'm hating it. So there's only like 270 pages or something, so I'm going to push through it. Hopefully it gets better, but right now, I just can't. I just... All the characters are so whiny and immature, and they're all supposed to be 18 years old. And it's just... Uh, I just can't. I just can't with this book. And then the next book that I'm hoping to get to... Although, I probably won't this weekend because, you know... As I said, boo's coming. It's not my boo, so calling it boo. But, but, I mean, this is technically, like, kind of an unboxing right now, because it's still in the package, but I know what it is. We're gonna have a little unboxing on this channel as well. But I was contacted by the author of this book as well. Well, I kind of, like, harassed him on Twitter, because he asked who would want one of his books, and I was like, me! And then he was like, you know what? Like, even though you're in Canada, I'll send it to you. And I was like, this is the best day of my life. So it's finally arrived. I've been waiting for it forever. So he sent little buttons as well. So adorable. There's a little bookmark too. So cute. I love it. The book is Don't Get Caught by Kurt Denan. I'm not 100% sure if I'm saying it right. I'm so sorry if I'm not. I saw this book on Alyssa's channel, Pucks and Paperbacks, and she loved it, she said. She gave it like a 4 out of 5 stars or something like that. Really high rating. But I've heard so many good things about this book, and apparently it's hilarious. It's about this prank war. That's all I really know about it. But it's about this, like, loner kid who thinks that, like, the popular chaos club is, like, bringing him into their, like, club to prank people. But then it turns out that they get, like, sabotaged and, like, framed, basically, at the old water tower. And then the prank war begins, and that's all I really know about it. But So I'm very excited, because after this stupid shutout book, I'm hoping that this will make me a lot happier. 
we'll see how that goes. But he also signed it, which is like super awesome. It says to Jan, thanks for the support. I hope you like this little story of inappropriate behavior and juvenile revenge. And then he drew a little water tower. How cute. But I'm very excited to read this. This is one I'm actually looking forward to it. And I'll have a review of this up on my channel once I'm done as well. So, you know, look out for that too. So yes, that is my Friday reads, what I'm planning on reading this weekend. Don't know how much I'll actually read, but you know, we'll see how it goes. So, I will see you all in my next video. Good bye! He's got new little buttons too. That's so cute. So the book is, I forgot the name of the book.